Hi, my name is Boudewijn Mos and I'm co-owner and co-founder of uh, EcoChain Technologies based in the Netherlands. And I want to share with you a part of my dream. Imagine in 2050 walking through the supermarket and every product being labeled as sustainable. And I'm not talking about zero emissions product, I'm talking about products which are labeled as if you buy me, biodiversity is increased, soil is regenerated, water is purified and CO2 is actually taken from the air instead of put in the air. Well this is quite challenging. We have defined three general ways to get there. First of all we could have governments force polluters to stop polluting. They could install new uh, new laws or define new measures to to produce in a more sustainable way. Many many of these uh, of these uh, systems and measures have been installed in the past 15 to 20 years in many countries worldwide. And as you can see, we have made improvements, but we haven't solved our problems yet. Actually, we haven't even come close to solving our problems. And first of all, that's because of the lack of deep understanding of matters. And second of all, because of our democratic systems, it's very difficult to prescribe procedures and to force the big polluters to make big changes which are needed. So the second approach would be what I call the hippie approach. It's quite popular. We retreat from our economy and we try to consume less, maybe even nothing at all. And this is more difficult than it seems, because in order to consume less, our, inco our income must decrease with the same factor. Because with the same amount of money to spend, we save the money on one hand, but the money that we save is spent elsewhere on other goods and services. So, um, it's quite a task, because in 2050 we need to reduce our emissions by 90%. So we would have to give up 90% of our paycheck as well. And I don't see that happen. So meanwhile, our economies keep on growing. So by consuming less, we will actually reduce the societal costs which are involved. But we will also reduce the societal benefits that come from our production and services. So the net result will be zero. That's why I don't believe in consuming less. Moreover, because people that consume less, they will have to give up their lux luxuries as well. And if they don't do that, they will be faced with the so-called rebound effect. When consumption is reduced, or if we purchase products that last longer, or if we repair the stuff that is broken, we will actually save money, which is, which is good, only to spend it on other goods, which might be even more polluted. So it, it doesn't get us to where we want to go. What I like is the idea of unleashing the power of the green consumer. And anyone can be a green consumer, it can be you, it can be me, it can be, it can be any, anyone. So our aim is not to consume less, but to consume right. And what we have done at EcoChain is we have invented a way of quickly and cheaply measuring the environmental performance of products. We have invented a way of producing life cycle assessments but on a large scale through online collaboration and the collection of data but also because of a smart connection of that data and with this new approach that we have any company can start measuring the product performance and implement a new and active sustainability policy and they can start selling us a clean earth and we as consumer as green consumer, we get to choose the winners. So on May the 30th at TEDx Wageningen, I would like to introduce to you our new approach to life cycle assessment, resulting in extraordinary, extraordinary reduction of LCA costs, real-time and ongoing monitoring of product performances, and the most important, how we translate the product performance into a final tool that can be used by the green consumer, by you, by me. So see you hopefully on the TEDx Wageningen event on May 30, 2012.